Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video we hop inside game and we go for more gobble gums inside of zombies except I explain a very good strategy that has allowed me to get a ton of gobble gums extremely quick at a very fast rate. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the video. Alright, so gobble gums are pretty interesting gobble gums are the biggest thing you want right now in black ops 6 zombies they are a tremendous help to easter eggs they are a tremendous help to just literally playing the game i mean who doesn't want a perkaholic right so today we're going to cover how to get them in the strategy but first we must discuss the actual thing of gobble gums so gobble gums revolve strictly around earning xp which is ranking up so you can get gobble gums every time you rank up and going through rounds and zombies that is how you get these it is just plain and simple so the strategy is okay how can we earn xp extremely fast at a very 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 fast rate but also rank up extremely fast so we can get a ton of gobble gums so today i'm going to show you guys an exactly good strategy to do so you guys can hit 35 or 31 wherever you want to exfil insanely fast on liberty falls just so you guys can get as many gobble gums as you possibly need whether you want to do the terminus easter egg with your friends or whatever that is you do have in mind now this strategy doesn't really take much to set up it's relatively simple but you are going to need a decent amount of essence so i usually like to just leave the rampage inducer on and go to about round eight in the spawn that's usually the ideal time to win like okay you kind of want to get out of there because then it's going to start getting super super crazy so a weapon we're going to be using is called the gs45 now i just prestige to two i'm only level 26 you unlock this at 28 but on liberty falls it is right here on the wall so we can go ahead and buy this the special thing about this pistol is when you pack it it basically turns into the sally from the mustang and sally which when you shoot it explodes now if you can load in with this and have it akimbo it's going to be even more easier to do this it is definitely one of the most broken weapons right now inside of zombies so i definitely do recommend using it and leveling it up so you can have it maxed out it literally makes easter eggs so easy it's insane but it is so nice in liberty falls how it's just a wall buy right there that you can go ahead and buy we already have it uncommon because of the wall buy but we still want to sit here and continuously get essence and kind of just gain salvage so we can keep making further progress inside of the game of course now what I'm going to do in this run, which isn't really have to do anything with this run, but I need a few kills with this on the Manglers, so we're definitely going to be doing that in this game as well. But for the most part, we're going to be using this and trying to speed run to a high round and just see just how far we can get. So we are on round 5 currently. I'm going to speed run to 8. We got a Gobble Gum coming in right here. So what is it? One gum awarded. What is it going to be? Shields up. I'll take it. Just a free little gobble gum. But I'm going to go to round eight and I'll see you guys then. All right, so we just currently finished round seven. We're just going to go ahead and start opening up this way. I do recommend going this way instead of the other way because it will affect the strategy if you do go the other way. Now keep in mind, you're going to want to do yourself a favor and buy PhD, but that can wait right this second. We're going to head all the way up here. I'm going to go ahead and make this weapon rare so we can just go ahead and throw that on there, make it a little bit stronger and then we can head into pack a punch and actually pack a punch this gs45 doing this strategy you're going to max this thing out literally in close to a damn game so it's definitely going to be crazy after your first game you'll be able to throw on a lot of freaking attachments that are just going to make this thing op now again i do recommend running a kimbo but you definitely can do this as well why is the groundskeeper just stuck in time <laughs> But as you guys can see, you shoot this thing and it blows up and it kills everything in its path. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about the Sally right now or the Mustang and Sally if you have a Makimbo. But this is going to be used for our strategy. Now, if you guys want to see another strategy like this in Terminus, let me know. Because it's actually going to be able to allow you to get to like 50 or 60 if you guys do want to over there. Which is super easy. But we're just going to kind of clear this round out right now. Grab all this salvage. Okay, let's kill him. All right, let's go ahead and turn over here and go by PhD so we don't kill ourselves with this weapon. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to want to do with the extra essence that we do have is we're going to want to open this door right here. Now, you're kind of just going to want to start buying perks right now, but again, you don't have to necessarily do it right this second. But if you do have enough essence, you do want to start picking up Speed Cola and Juggernaut and all that good stuff. I probably got to go through another round or two just to be able to buy those, but it's definitely not that big of a deal. So... 
talking about XP, you really just want to stay in your game to about round 35, because after that, XP starts to really go down, so you're not really going to be gaining as much, which you would think, like, oh, I'm on a higher round, I'm killing more zombies, I'm getting more XP. That is believed to be false, right? So, it's best to just exfil. Game, what the heck is going on? What? The game has been lagging a little bit, which is kind of scary, but it usually stops pretty quickly so we just got speed cola now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this door right here we don't have enough yet but we only need a few more zombie kills and we can open that up it does take a little bit of essence to do it that's kind of why i like to stay at spawn or you can use double point gobble gums or you can literally just do exactly what i'm doing just take a little bit longer to do this process so we're just gonna go down here now this is gonna be the strategy we're gonna gonna want to leave this closed and that other door on the other side and we're gonna want to sit kind of by this car i would recommend trying to blow the car up before you sit over here or else you're just gonna hurt yourself and all you're gonna want to do is just spam this in this area right here with the inducer on you're gonna be able to fly through these rounds extremely quickly and just keep killing the zombies now whenever you need ammo you can just run up there pick up some or you can run out into that street over there where there's an ammo refill waiting on you which you definitely can do, and it just makes your life so freaking easy. We are on round 11 right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a ton of these rounds, and we're going to exfil. And I will show you guys exactly how much XP we earned from this, and if we earned any more gobble gums. But this is definitely my go-to strategy, like say if I'm trying to get perkaholics, or I just want to grind out some gobble gums, or simply I just want to rank up. It definitely is a very good grind to do. Although you're not doing camo challenges, so if you guys are like trying to grind the nebula camo, this might not be the thing for you, because you still want to keep getting camos unlocked. But it definitely is a nice little easter egg for sure to do. So we're going to go ahead and do a few more rounds and then we're gonna exfil and I will see you guys then All right, so within 15 minutes of that, we've hit round 21 with the Rampage Inducer on. We're gonna go ahead and go over here and start this exfil. I really wanna see with how fast we did that, how much XP did we earn? Now, keep in mind that Gobble Gums are RNG based, but the only way to get Gobble Gums is through ranking up and doing rounds and completing rounds in zombies. So whatever strategy you can find to where you rank up fast and you can go through rounds extremely quickly is gonna be the best strategy for you, right? So this one I definitely really like and I really do want you guys to try this out for yourselves because it's gonna work so easily for everybody, especially once you guys start using this. You guys are gonna be like, dang, this thing is really good. If I can actively uh, get out of this. Okay, we died. Well. There's that. <laughs> I didn't have a self-revive, but it's okay. So, yeah, Mangler destroys Chopper. Uh, let's see how much XP we earned once we get back to the main menu after completing 21 rounds. Hopefully it loads up soon. Yeah, it's definitely pretty easy doing this strategy. I definitely recommend it for you guys using the GS45. So, level 26, we started at 26, and it relayed. 
but we went from we went a rank and a half in about 15 to 20 minutes which is very good and then we unlocked a ton of stuff as well so i definitely do recommend this strategy for getting gobble gums and increasing your chances of them thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did do not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one i am out have a good one peace